Hey, what it is? What's up? Washing dishes with your boy. Washing dishes with your boy. Ah, we're back at it again for the accountability series. Today we're going to mix the software developer and the wellness series because it's Sunday. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to act like I did a lot. Today was actually a pretty chill day. I slept at... I believe 10 yesterday. Was it 10 or 11? I'm not even sure, but it was earlier than Friday. So with that being said, yeah, it was 11 or so. And, or towards 11 actually, now that I remember. So with that being said, um, I woke up at around five. And yeah, obviously did the whole posting thing. Or did I? Yeah, did the whole posting thing um, and continued with my lectures, you know, the free CoCam lecture. And then I was like, hey, let me follow through. Hey, let me download Visual Studio Code and you know what I'm saying? Set up my laptop. Hey, then soon enough, you know what I'm saying? Things added up and then I was just, you know, coding. And then I was like, actually, this is how it's supposed to be. You know, because, yeah, for me, Sunday's like the first day, because obviously Saturday's the Sabbath, so you know it's the seventh day, we're done with the week. Sunday, I was like, you know what, light mode. Whatever I'm doing is light mode, no obligation, no time span. I'm just, you know, kind of like practicing the the core of how I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, live my life how I'm trying to approach these specific activities, you know? I'm trying to be as familiar with coding as I am with dealing WhatsApp business, you know? So, yeah, that was it in terms of the software developer series. I actually made a good amount of progress and there was something key that I did, but I forgot what it is now. Oh yeah, I watched this freak. Code camp um lecture on functional programming with JavaScript. And I was just there like, oh my, like I can keep up and I understand what they're getting at. Obviously, this guy was talking about this other language with R. Is it Ram Ram or Ramda? It had this RAM logo, you know, just based upon functional programming and just making it it made sense, you know what I'm saying? Using that framework and doing the functional programming. Then I was like, okay. I see why some people would prefer functional programming over object-oriented programming and me having had a better understanding of it than functional programming, which is currently like the war that I'm facing. I'm like, all right, cool. This helps. Did I practice? No, but yeah, I was like, you know what? This is ideal. I'm, I'm getting to this certain point in time where it's like, it isn't as mentally taxing. I'm not as lost. So with that being said, definitely I'm looking forward to, you know, checking out more lectures. And yeah, just staying strong with these lectures. Just really, you know, per se. Well, yeah, let's talk about my program, actually. My studying program, per se. First off, okay, doing um, Odin's project. I'm just going to focus on that right now. Odin's project until I catch up to Fico Camp. Yeah. Odin's project, yeah, for like, you know, five sessions of 25, you know what I'm saying? Five minute breaks in between, and then I right, cool, take like a 30 minute break, you feel me? Well deserved. And then move on to these lectures, you know, dedicate an hour to these lectures, you feel me? And actually follow through with the exercises, and then be like, all right, cool, this is us. And revising, yeah. One thing that I think I'm going to do actually is revise in the morning after posting, you know, while my video is being uploaded, because I feel like that's a very sweet time of, yeah, of, yeah, things just, things just happen. So that's the very, that's the best time I look at it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it. First off, revise. Second off, um, the Odin project in order to catch up with free code camp. Once I have caught up, then it's back to free code camp, you know? And then third off, lectures. These three are ideal, you know? I'm gonna dedicate an hour to each. 
just so that I don't fry my brain. <laughs> you know, this week I'm just going to dedicate an hour to each. And then as time goes on, once I have grasped, then I, th I feel like I can start introducing projects. You know, I'm not going to push myself to do projects, especially when it's like, bro, <laughs> you barely know what's going on. And you're more stressed out about this language and you feel like you're falling behind. It's like, all right, cool. Let me not mentally tax myself. Let me just work with myself, even though I'm like, damn, son, I'm behind. I'm really behind. You know, you know that you're behind, right? When you're not just only behind on your original schedule, but you're behind on your backup schedule. So I'm just there like patience you know um i don't think i understand my capacity as much or do we just say i kind of not overestimate it but i push myself more than necessary and it kind of you know it's like already being overwhelmed is enough of a problem but now you know just this certain level of unkindness to self or let me just say it, and not being able to negotiate with self is not going to help at all. So that's one thing that I'm aiming to do is really, you know, yeah, just, hey, have a better relationship with myself. And I can feel it coming along, even though I'm falling behind. But I can feel like, yo, you're learning. You're making progress because they are these key things, right, in terms of wellness. And these levels that you've reached that you weren't at, even when, per se, doing HTML and CSS. <laughs> so it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. But one thing's for sure, once I've got it, I've got it. And I'm excited to be there. So I guess a key lesson is that I've learned to honor my journey. And today was the best representation of it. You know, working on a Sunday when the likelihood of me working is zero to none and actually just dabbling in additional resources. You know what I'm saying? Like easily with no worries, no qualms, no nothing. You know, it's almost like second nature. So, yeah, you know, and I feel like it being second nature, right? In terms of me approaching it will lead it to being, would lead programming and per se doing all this stuff being more of an intuitive an intuitive thing you know because that's what i'm trying to get at just a little off ramp because i'm out here i cool i talked to phil and then he was like yo bro you know what i'm saying um yeah i need rag i was like i right, cool bro hey i'm also down bad right now but you know it's month then so hey let's just clock these yeah let's just clock these orders then i right, cool sell these other ones that we have already and i'm already doing mental maths in my corp because hey People are ordering stuff on these store all of a sudden from the fabric store and from the thrift store. And I ain't even promoting, which is understandable because I built the structure like that. But like, it's like, yo, then the funds are going to the business account, business account on minus. And I'm just there like, oh, Lord, <sighs> this is not how the funds are supposed to be going because I didn't even foresee this. Facebook is going to pull up. Nin, nin, nin. Back to the main point. Doing this mental math. I'm stressed. I right. Osa, give it to God. Then I'm like, OK, cool. You know what's the best way forward? Let's just block these ads, you know, create an undeniable deal. Ha, huh. boom, people are already sending money. You know, people are already saying, yeah, tomorrow, hey, hey, Saturday, hey, hey, this and that interest. I'm like, wow, this is what we're in it for. It's intuitive. It's adding up. Being in the game long enough that if I put a little bit of effort, it's going to push. Because <laughs> it isn't happening because I'm so focused on programming. But I'm trying to get to a point in time where... The, the amount of muscle and weight and, and all of the stuff that I can push, right, on Istolo is what I need to do with programming. You feel me? So I need to do with software development. And I'm like, we're getting there. We're getting there. And the structures that are going to be built are going to be epic. So with that being said, yeah, that was it. Like, I got head first JavaScript programming. Got the book. The whole book. Instead of like a better the book that I used to have from 2019. And then, yeah, so I'm just, I mean, 2020. So I'm just there like, yeah, definitely. Like we're getting there. Because I downloaded this last year while I was doing um Python. And I finished Python, the exercises, but didn't forget, didn't remember nothing, didn't practice nothing, got caught up in the game once it was level five. Mind you, I was done by April. I was done learning and going through that book by April because I was grinding. 
grinding <laughs> you know what i'm saying but hey you know i guess lack of consistency is a problem or it was a problem but now i'm in the environment where i'm like you know what hustle comes second hustle actually comes third pretty much after gymming and stuff programming comes first even though sometimes i struggle with hustle because a hey, wellness definitely comes first above all but that's besides the point so with that being said that's where it's at like that's how well-being and self software development met today and i'm happy about it i'm really happy about it because my plan is that you know what when i'm bored i'm just gonna go through head first javascript you know what i'm saying i've got the compilers on my phone you know i've set up my laptop so at the end of the day it's like i know how to approach this in a wholesome manner with the least amount of friction even when i don't want to do free code camp or i'm feeling overwhelmed i know that just read bro just read just watch a lecture just you know what i'm saying your autopilot is there so you're gonna get where you need to get even if it's by the centimeter so i'm really happy about that and i really honor the journey yes I want to do more, but I'm just there like, right now, even the game is consistency, you know? It's like gym. You go in, yeah, it's going to be hard at first. You're going to be weak. But as time goes on, you know what I'm saying? Soon enough, 200 kgs deadlift, you feel me? Still don't feel like it's enough, but hey, people are miring, you feel me? You can also feel that you got a bit of, uh-uh, uh-uh. So... I'm going to give myself a year for this, for this full stack developer shandies, you know? And I understand that for JavaScript, it's tight. I just need to sharpen the axe, you know? I just need to sharpen the axe so that when it even comes to, per se, the back end or React, it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, things are a little smoother, you feel me? It's like, yeah, it's like the, the third day jogging, you know what I'm saying? It isn't as, as terrible as it is. It's like you're three weeks in running you feel me now you're hitting 10k you're hitting 15k you know what i'm saying like the growth is exponential so i'm just there like yeah it's like it's at the beginning and i really honor this journey i'm glad i have this relationship with myself and i can see me achieving these goals my timing might just be off and my timelines might just be off but i know that we're getting there we're gonna be there this, this, this is, yo, if I had this type of feeling throughout a lot of my other endeavors, I would have actually, yeah, I feel like I could have done it for the long haul, you know what I'm saying, without per se having a bad relationship with myself or getting overwhelmed and retarding the flow. So that's my chat. Um, let's just quickly touch on wellness, even though we've touched on most of it. Chill day, did everything in my bed, did it in my room watch youtube videos at the same time was just you know what i'm saying um chilling with my nephew eating sleeping waking up bathing you know because it's sunday so i don't have to fetch nobody i don't have to drop nobody i don't have to go to gym i don't have to do all of this other stuff and i was just there like huh actually <laughs> wow this is unintentionally productive due to my time being my own so i'm hyper i'm good so let me try and maintain the same vibe when i give my time to everybody else and once i achieve that type of feeling i know that success is in the moment it's in the now I've, i'm at peace i'm grounded my time is my own i'm not thrown off even by the usual stuff that would have thrown me off i was like <laughs> Not today, Satan. Not today. So, you know, I'm I'm actually very grateful. My prayers are, are paying off in terms of being grounded and being at peace. And yeah, just being grateful. And understanding that my own conviction is, yeah, my conviction is not my own. Which I saw when I was busy getting overwhelmed by Istolo and how things are kind of spiraling slowly. But they're spiraling in the right manner, but I'm just not ready for it. You know, we're getting orders, right? Just It was just two orders. Mind you, it's not a lot. But I understand the significance of random things just happening. I don't believe it's random. You know, I really do believe in the structure that we built and it working and 
you know all we just need to do is focus on scaling but it's like my heart is in programming right now and figuring that out fully i'll still come back to your don't get it stuck but right now it's the bare minimum for a story, you know? Just to get some rack, get by, buy some protein, gym. You know what I'm saying? Cute stuff. <laughs> but besides for that, yeah, that's my well-being, you know? I had called, I prayed after getting overwhelmed, sent whoever I needed to send the messages to. And I was like, the rest I'll deal with. Caught some orders. Didn't even intend on getting orders today. But I was like, my game is good with you, Stolo. You know? Probably when the time comes, maybe in December or whenever, you know, when I'm taking a little, so when I'm taking like a sort of deload from programming, like how I'm taking a deload this week, I'm not going to be working out too heavily, just going to be light. Then I know that, oh, then I know that I cool, we're good, we're good. Got to hop back in it, knowing that I cool, you stole the set. Big body bends, ready for January, ready for Gauteng, it's time to go hard. So yeah, my sense of well-being and my sense of confidence in myself is great. And yeah, I'm just going to continue giving it to God, honestly. Yeah, stop giving it to God a lot more and really, you know, getting into the spirit of things. And have it permeate not only through gym, but, you know, through business, through software development. And be like, all right, cool. This is where we're at. So that in Gauteng, I know that I'm protected from the vibes. Because the vibes, they're crazy. I only noticed when I got out, you know. And I started having, started, starting to have these night terrors. I was like, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, and also after talking to my friends and understanding where we are at socially and the necessity for us to tie it in our friendship group. And yeah, just understanding the importance of family and me personally understanding that a value based approach is best first. Yeah, I'm trying to not have that corrupted in Kauteng and having the worst of me come out, especially when I get the blessings, you know, I could land the software developer job. You know what I'm saying? Hustle the game the way I'm supposed to hustle it. You feel me at the level that I'm supposed to hustle it at. Get the right that I need. I'm just aiming to maintain that focus. You know? And knowing that I that's the new zero. Now we're trying to get to a hundred. Now we're trying to get to a thousand. A hundred thousand. A million. Ten million. A hundred million. A billion. Ten billion. A hundred billion. A trillion. Do that three times over, you know? But I know that if I'm not in the right mind state, don't have the right perception and spirit, then aim. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. So I'm glad I've gotten this time to build myself as an adult and understand, okay, cool. What are my flaws? What are my sins? What are my faults? What are my tendencies? And what are the consequences that I have to face and that I will face and that I'm willing to face if I'm going to diverge even a bit? So, yeah, I'm just trying to get into the right spirit so that I don't actually diverge, you know? Just hit it right on the mark. But hey, easier said than done, you know? But hey, that's my chat. So this week is going to be great. Going to deload, going to... Do my study practice shandies, you know what I'm saying? Gonna hmm, probably get back to the library, gonna get a bit lost in the sauce, but chop a script. Grip it, I'm gonna grip. So, thank you for pulling up to my video. This has been great. This has been uh, catharsis or cathartic. <laughs> and yeah, make sure to enjoy your week. And thank you for watching.